What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nab and Row Show. I'm here with my compatriot partner, Crime Row. Say hi, Row. Hi, kids. And welcome back to the podcast. Row, we just had a fantastic live show. We did. It was great. It was, it was amazing. Awesome. 188 yeah. comments. It's a record. It was. We're amazing. we're going up in the we're going up in places. It's great. We're working on. It. We're getting there. <laughs> That's right. But for this trailer. short, what are we talking about today? We're going to discuss if toilet paper goes over or under on the okay. toilet paper roll. It's a huge debate. People talk about it all the time. I th- I feel like for me it's cut and dry. If you do it one way, you're a monster. <laughs> I'm really? just saying. Oh, absolutely. Oh, all Absol- right. Pretty absolutely. Passionate, pretty passionate about this, huh? Oh, oh, absolutely. Because it drives me crazy okay. when it's the wrong way. All right. Well, it which does. way is your way? Because I'm very passionate about the way mine is, too. I believe it needs to go over. So it comes towards you as you pull, right? So gravity works in your favor. If you need to reach under and then lift it up to pull it off, I just, that's, just, no. You, you're a monster. Don't do that. <laughs> ever. Don't do it. Okay. I'm assuming you agree with me on that. I do. I do okay. agree on you, but not for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your reasoning behind it? So I believe I, I believe and practice the art of going over because I have cats. And if it goes under, it dangles. And that attracts them to pull the freaking toilet paper roll all the way down the hall and you know toilet paper rolls are like three rolls now because they're like ginormous so imagine coming home to a hallway full of toilet paper because someone put it in the wrong direction i understand you or waste a whole roll of toilet paper what people could say okay it could still be dangling there on the other way and it can still be up that other way as well yeah, it just it, depends oh, on for, where you yeah. position it well, I always like squish it, like squish the the roll, so it does. It's a little bit harder to like, you know. And then when you go to use it, you it. squish it again. No, I mean I just squish it once when I when I reload it into the toilet roll dispenser. I kind of like squish it so it it's not circular. You're dumb. I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm laughing because this this topic is just cracking me up. <laughs> oh, because it's it's not wrong. So every time let's talk about that. So every time I go there and the stupid toilet paper goes because it's yeah. squished, yeah. it doesn't roll properly. No, it comes out. I want to do a quick flick. No. And it, goes, it just rolls out, and I can boom, cut it, stop it, swipe it off, and do your thing. You're good. What are you like? <laughs> do that though. Oh my gosh, you're so extra. Stop it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too funny. Oh, toilet paper. But, okay, so cats. That's a great reason. I, I didn't think of that, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because it's more likely the one way just to be dangling because you just, whatever, mm-hmm. it's in the back. It entices them, it. and you're just like, no. Mm-hmm. Whereas if it's over, it's a little. I mean, if you pull it off right, and if you pull it off to where it like ends at the top or like kind of cresting, then mm-hmm. it doesn't dangle and doesn't entice them. Yeah, because for you to pull it off close to the top, you got to reach behind underneath and flip. Mm-hmm. But there, you're pulling it. Yeah. So here's here's the thing. It comes up and over, and you <laughs> cut it right here. So then this little section goes. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. It hangs down. You know what I mean, right? I, yes. <laughs> Should I get some for, for visual reference and bring it out here? <laughs> oh, my uh. gosh. This is the best. Yes. So good. Holy cow. Okay. So <laughs> what other reasons can we think of why we would want our way different just because of that? So I got two kids, right? Mm-hmm. You know what relevance that has to this discussion? What? Absolutely nothing. They see the toilet paper rolling. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. It doesn't matter if it's upside or down. just start down. wrapping it yeah. around. They don't care. Yeah. They seem to be like, ooh, tug. Yeah. <laughs> it just lets it roll. Yeah. Yep. That doesn't really help this discussion whatsoever. Not really. As far as that goes, <laughs> no. But it's a fun topic. I mean, look at what we've discussed. It is. And how it, far we went in trying to uh, show our, our paper opinion knowledge. about it. 
That's just crazy. It's so good. <laughs> you learn the best things from the Nab and Row show. That's Not right. Not only are we funny, but we are educational. We are very well. educational. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's take this another step. Check this out. Okay. So okay. toilet paper in general, you have like the double ply, triple ply. Yeah. You know, sometimes you pull it, the stupid thing pulls apart. So you have two little oh. thin rolls. Yeah. And even if you break it, little tiny thin piece hangs out. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. the corporate rolls that are like this big. <laughs> With like this big Better. old thing in the middle, like oh, you thin, know, big old <laughs> like thin tissue paper. paper. <sighs> tissue paper, it's the worst. I mean, I had to live with that when I worked downtown in Cincinnati. Mm -mm. Uh, I started that's bringing the one my thing, own. That's the one thing I appreciate about working from home is the quality of toilet paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now when I go to work, because <laughs> it's my house. So funnily <laughs> enough, the bright light. Yeah, there's like someone's uh, lights came in there. There was um. Yeah. This is, I'm trying not to be TMI on this one, but <laughs> at my office, I okay. So there is a communal male and female bathroom, boys and girls, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then one day, one of, one of my coworkers just didn't courtesy flush, and I'm like, you know what? I am done. I am done with this. And there is actually a bathroom in my office, like a little tiny thing for mm -hmm. just us. But it was dirty. Right. Floors dirty. There was mm -hmm. stuff in it. it. Had to be cleaned, wiped, scrubbed, all that jazz. Right. I got so sick and tired of of that. I went there and I mopped everything. I scrubbed the toilet inside and out. I scrubbed the sink. Did everything. Made it nice so I could have my own toilet. And then, yes. on top of, I brought in some really nice toilet paper that was mm -hmm. over, not under. <laughs> so that was nice. And then. I can't use the restroom. Go number two without having adult flushable wipes. Okay. I feel dirty if I don't have them. I do. I just... To each their own. I just can't. I have I actually had this conversation with somebody else, and they even said, and took it a step further, and said, okay, over, under, yes, I get it, but I need a bidet. I'm like... I mean... Makes okay. sense. I mean, it's it's, you know... A I had to of, take this further because our, our it, topic though. was already done. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like if we're going to go off a tangent and it's going to be a lot of TMI. <laughs> <laughs> so we should just stop there. Yeah, and, well, you yeah. Know. That'll be, this will be a short one. Yeah, we'll but, just, we'll end our conversation with how does your toilet paper roll function? That's right. And just leave it like that. And we'll <laughs> Over post something. Or under. Or under. That's right. <laughs> so let us know down below. And I'm sure we'll post something to have a little discussion yes. <laughs> later there in the forum. So we want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, go and jack that like button right now. Don't forget to tell your friends and family all about the Never Know Show. And until always, this podcast is a wrap. Till next time, kids.